What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Sunday, February 6th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a five game slate here tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. So I think there's lots of good value on this slate. So at the point guard position, I like Luka Doncic from the Dallas Mavericks playing the Atlanta Hawks who have the eighth worst defense overall and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Luka Doncic has averaged 40, uh, sorry, 54.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 36% usage rate. He's projected at 56.7 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 60 fantasy points or more in this one and get you five times value or more. He's 12,000 DraftKings salary. 400 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 218.5 points scored in this game. Now, that's expensive for Luka Doncic, but he is on an absolute tear, scoring 78, 71, and 70 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 40, 42, and 37 minutes. And he scored 44, 63, and 64 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Hawks. He's put up 65 plus fantasy points his last four games. And he had a 55 point game, uh, 55 fantasy point game that other game. So five games in a row, over 50 fantasy points. Fantastic matchup here. So I like Luka Doncic. Here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. So I think there's a lot of good value at the shooting guard slash small forward position. All three of these guys are eligible at shooting guard and small forward. So I'm just going to give you the three names and then I'll go over the guy that I like the most. So you got Kevin Herter, Eric Gordon, and Josh Richardson. So if you take a look at the minutes that they're playing, it looks like Kevin Herter is playing the most minutes and I think he's got the most upside. I think he's got some pretty solid 30 plus fantasy point upside. So I like Kevin Herter from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Dallas Mavericks who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing shooting guards. Kevin Herter has averaged 21.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He's projected at 22 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. He's 4,200 DraftKings salary, although he is 1,300 more on FanDuel. So I think Eric Gordon or Josh Richardson would be better FanDuel plays but Kevin Herter on DraftKings for sure. And we know Vegas thinks there's gonna be 218.5 points scored in this game. And Kevin Herter has scored 17, 31, and 36 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 26, 37, and 38 minutes. He's also scored 18, 42, 49, 24, and 30 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Mavericks. So four out of those five games, he would have got you way over five times value. So I like Kevin Herter here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, just lots of good value here at the shooting guard position. Could even go with a guy like Dennis Schroeder 
even though his minutes have come down. So um, he's not as safe as a play as Kevin Herter, in my opinion. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. But you also got a guy like Jalen Green from the Houston Rockets. Although he's 4,600 DraftKings salary, but he's the same price on FanDuel. So all in all, Kevin Herter on DraftKings, I think is my favorite value play here at the shooting guard position. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Bogdan Bogdanovich from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Dallas Mavericks who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing small forwards. Bogdan Bogdanovich has averaged 24.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. Now he's projected at 25.4 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 28 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more, He's 5,500 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel, and Bogdan Bogdanovich has scored 41, 24, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 35, and 30 minutes. So I like that he's playing uh, between 34 and 35 minutes the last couple of games, and let's see how he's done versus the Mavericks. Not super well versus the Mavericks, but I think that um, he's playing enough minutes now that he's got that 30 plus fantasy point upside. So I think he's a reasonable mid-range play here on this five game slate. You could also go with a guy like Herbert Jones from the New Orleans Pelicans playing the Houston Rockets who have the absolute worst defense overall and they give up the um, the most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. And I say that because Herbert Jones scored 33 fantasy points last game, playing 34 minutes. So I think he's a decent option because this is going to be a high scoring game. 230.5 points scored in this game. So I think he's a decent option here um, in a high scoring game with a fantastic matchup. But between the two of those guys, I like Bogdan Bogdanovich here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. So a couple of guys I like on this slate. I just think there's a lot of good plays on this slate. I'm even getting just kind of distracted while I'm doing this video as my eyes wander to the other players. Just a lot of good plays on this slate. So I like Kevin Love from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Indiana Pacers who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They've been pretty good versus opposing power forwards, but Kevin Love, he scored 40, 45, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 25, 29, and 33 minutes. So I think he can score 36 fantasy points or more here Get you five times value or more. He's 7,200 DraftKings salary. And he's 300 less on FanDuel. So I like that price on both sites. And he scored 39 fantasy points in his last game versus the Pacers. So I like Kevin Love here versus the Indiana Pacers. Now I also like Al Horford from the Boston Celtics playing the Orlando Magic who have the fifth worst defense overall. They give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Al Horford has averaged 28.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. He's projected at 26.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. 
He's 5,200 DraftKings salary, 100 more on FanDuel. And Al Horford scored 21, 25, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 19, 32, and 31 minutes. And he's got a good track record here versus the Magic. He scored 32, 47, 28, and 37 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Magic. So I like Al Horford here versus the Orlando Magic. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Now, another value play that I like, kind of a mid-range play here, is just showing tape from the Houston Rockets playing the New Orleans Pelicans, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall. They've been pretty good versus opposing power forwards, but just Sean Tate has averaged 26.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 26.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.4 times value. He's 4,900 DraftKings salary, 400 more on FanDuel. And I like this pick because Vegas thinks there's going to be 230.5 points scored in this game. So it's a good game to stack. It's a good way to get some low salary exposure to this high scoring game. Ja'Shawn Tate has scored 21, 21, and 19 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 25, 28, and 30 minutes. So he's been underperforming his season average the last three games. So I think he's in a good spot here tonight. He's got pretty good history versus the Pelicans. He scored 26, 32, 25, and 31 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Pelicans. So I like Ja'Shawn Tate here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Now without just giving you every guy on the slate, just one more guy. I mean, there's just so many options here on the slate for value. Take a look at Dorian Finney-Smith from the Dallas Mavericks playing the Atlanta Hawks, who have the eighth worst defense overall, middle of the pack defending opposing power forwards. Dorian Finney-Smith has averaged 22.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 14% usage rate. He's projected at 24 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.3 times value. He's 4,500 DraftKings salary, 400 less on FanDuel. He scored 22, 18, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games. But the reason that I like this pick is because he played 39, 42, and 38 minutes. So this guy is playing monster minutes. So with those type of minutes, he's got a pretty good chance to put up 25 plus fantasy points, get you well over five times value. And his price is good on DraftKings, and he's only 4,100 on FanDuel. So low price, uh, low salary on both sites. So I like Dorian Finney-Smith here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, moving on to the center position, I like Jonas Valanciunas from the New Orleans Pelicans playing the Houston Rockets, who have the absolute worst defense overall. They give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing centers. Jonas Valanciunas has averaged 39.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He's projected at 39.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 8,300 DraftKings salary. And he's 1100 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. 
Jonas Valanciunas has scored 32, 36, and 36 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 29, and 31 minutes. And he scored 43 and 50 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Rockets. So I like Jonas Valanciunas here versus the Houston Rockets. And the other stud that I like in this high scoring game is Christian Wood from the Houston Rockets playing the New Orleans Pelicans who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Christian Wood has averaged 37.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He's projected at 38.6 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 42 fantasy points or more in this one. He's 8,500 DraftKings salary, same, uh, same price on FanDuel. He scored 33 41 and 50 fantasy points in the last three games playing 30 34 and 33 minutes and he scored 42 38 43 and 41 fantasy points in his last four games versus the pelicans so i like christian wood here versus the new orleans pelicans if you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.